Hi, I'm Chef Alex Hahn. For this next recipe, I'll be using Atlantic salmon and we're gonna cure it, making a gravel axe dish. To start off with our cure, we're gonna start with salt and sugar, equal parts. We're gonna mix well, making sure all parts are evenly dispersed. Set that to the side. And we're gonna use a baking dish that two fit inside, or one fits inside the other, rather. We're going to go with our salt and sugar on the bottom. We're gonna add some dill. A little bit of onion, and that's it. The next part, we're gonna grab our Atlantic salmon. We're gonna lay it in. The cut I chose today is a little thicker on one end and a little thinner on the other. That's a personal preference. I like some fish to be a little more cured than other parts, but if you like it more even cure the whole way through, find a fillet or a loin from your local fishmonger or grocery store that's about the size you're looking for. From this point, we're going to add more dill Some more red onion. And to get some intense color and flavor, we're gonna use some beets. Now I just grated the beets. We're gonna add this on top. There's a couple different ways you can do a beetroot cure. Um, you can use a food processor, add your sugar, your salt, your beets, and make a liquid and a paste. That will get an even look the whole way through the cure. But this way, you kinda get more of a tie-dye look and that's a personal preference. So once we get our beet on, go with some black pepper. I'm gonna use some vodka to help the cure along. You can also use gin if you're looking for more bot uh, botanical flavors. Just a nice coating. Back to our salt and sugar cure. We're gonna cover the top. Just evenly disperse it. Now don't worry that there's a, a lot of salt in this dish. It is on the saltier side, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna rinse it off. The salt is more about preserving the fish, cooking the fish. Now that we have all our ingredients evenly dispersed, we have some dill, some onion, beet, and of course the vodka, salt and sugar, we're gonna get our matching dish, press it on top, and now you have the opportunity to cure it between 48 and 72 hours, depending on your preference. If you like a little longer cure, a more saltier, denser uh, product, by all means, leave it for the 72. If you like it a little raw, a little less firm, go for the 48. Off to the fridge, so now we have our Atlantic salmon in the fridge curing. To speed things up, we have one that we've cured 48 hours ago. What you're looking for is the fish to look like this. You have some firmness, the moisture's left the fish itself, the dill looks a little wilted, the salt and sugar have come together. This is a good indicator that your fish has done the curing process. From this point, we're gonna wanna rinse it in the sink just to get rid of the excess salt and sugar. So we've rinsed off our Atlantic Salmon Gravel Axe. We're just gonna pat it dry. Really important not to press too hard that you're taking off a lot of the beet color. You're just trying to make sure you're not getting a lot of liquid all over your cutting board or your plate. From this point, we're gonna leave the salmon on the cutting or on the uh, paper towel, excuse me. You don't wanna muck up a cutting board. If you have a wooden cutting board, this probably would end up dying your board. So for this purpose, we're just gonna have the uh, paper towel staying under. Now, grabbing your plate, I'm just gonna make slices against the grain. Nice and thin, using a slicing knife. Now 
Now the nice thing about this dish, it can be served any time of day. If it's an evening on a canapé, um, maybe it's for breakfast. It's a healthy alternative than bacon for a breakfast meat with some bagels, cream cheese, etc., and a great source of omega-3s. Now we have our grab lax sliced. I'm gonna just move it to a plate. It just looks a little nicer than the paper towel. Just tidy up, discard our paper towel. Now we can start plating. So with the salmon, like I said, it's really versatile. So you can do anything with it. You can just put it onto a bagel with cream cheese right away, or you can present it nicely on a plate, more of a platter that people can just help themselves. I'm gonna go for the platter approach. Just laying it, getting some height, almost like a wave. And you can see at this point, when you present it like this, you can really get the different penetrations of the beet into the fish, that tie-dye look I mentioned. Uh, one little point when you're going with Gravlax, there's a bloodline that goes on the back of the fish. You want to tuck that down so it's not presentation up. There. I think that looks pretty good. Just add one more piece here. Now again, when using salmon, it's versatile. There's a lot of different approaches you can use for the flavor profile. For this, we're gonna go with kind of your traditional kind of cured salmon accoutrement. We're gonna go with some capers. We have some horseradish cream, some pickled mustard seed, and then of course, everyone's favorite, a little cream cheese. So the cream cheese here, we've just cut in little cubes, kind of rolled them in some chives. Maybe a few capers. Now, uh, the horseradish, we make a hor or I made a horseradish crema. So it's just a little horseradish mixed with some sour cream and lemon juice. This will add some richness to the dish, as well as just a little sharpness. Some pickled mustard seeds, because of course pickles are just the best with a dish like this. Now we'll go for some garnish, some herbs, flowers, whatever you have around the house or the garden, depending on the season, of course. Go with some flat leaf parsley. Chives, of course, are always great when using salmon. Have some dill flowers. So, of course, the presentation I'm going for would be more of a showstopper. You have friends over, a glass of wine, maybe some bubbly. But, of course, you can do it a little more simple, a little less elegant, and have it for breakfast. Bagel, like I mentioned. All right. I think that looks pretty good there. To serve... We have some bagel chips or bagel crostinis. And there you have it. There's a simple Atlanta Canadian salmon gravel axe. For more recipes like this and many more, please visit seafoodfromcanada.com.